so here I am ready to roll and uh, what you can see in front of you is the exciting things I've now received in the post I've got the uh, plans from John Smith for his uh, busker organ this is a photocopy that I've made so that if I mess up the originals in my workshop it doesn't matter I've got a CD a DVD that I've been watching with instructions of how to make the busker see a DVD featuring John Smith and uh, I've been sent uh, my special label that um, has my uh, um, serial number for the uh, organ, uh, one serial number per organ that you uh, uh, build. And uh, also included with the mailing is this very exciting and motivating uh, roll, a test roll for the uh, organ. And uh, that's what I've ordered and received from uh, uh, John. And I've had a little chat with him on the phone. He's been very friendly and uh, helpful. And so I'm looking forward to really beginning. And I ordered from uh, Melvin uh, his book, Getting Started, which I've got here. Again, a, a copy that's he's bound in plastic with a, a spiral spine, full of all sorts of useful hints and tips and information. I've got the uh, tuner that I've ordered uh, for him. And I guess you could uh, buy this tuner in a, a music shop or a store, I don't know. But uh, uh, it comes from uh, Melvin, beautifully packaged with an extra sheet of uh, instructions of how to use this particular model with uh, the organ. And also beautifully packaged, I've received uh, a test roll uh, designed by uh, Melvin in this lovely box. And this is very evocative, it reminds me of being a child and seeing at fairgrounds, those boxes of piled up rolls in a, a fairground or organ trailer. And a very exciting moment to open it up and find a Melvin's roll in there with music on it. And again, a nice sheet of instructions that uh, will tell me how to use the uh, roll to test the organ uh, as and when it's being built. And uh, I have uh, cut out my pipes. The wood for the pipes is uh, here. And I've decided to make two sets of pipes so uh, as this is the first time I've ever done anything like this if any of the pipes work out to be uh, a faulty or no good at least I'll end up with one complete whole set uh, for the making of my organ and I calculate that to make two sets if I do it all at the same time I won't really take me much longer than making one set as it's a learning process I'm going through I'll make the mistakes and uh, Instead of going through it all twice, I'll do it all once. So that's the bit of wood for the uh, pipes there. And uh, I haven't got a band saw. I've just simply cut uh, uh, the balsa wood into three, uh, four millimetre thicknesses with a, a sharp Stanley knife with brand new uh, blades. That was very easy to cut with a decent uh, straight edge, a, a decent straight edge uh, ruler. And now I'm working on cutting out the languids for the pipes. Uh, the language or the shelves as they're referred to in uh, John Smith's uh, plans and I'm doing this with a, a little Dremel circular saw I've got the dimensions which are uh, given in both the John Smith plans but uh, probably more easy to understand uh, in uh, the Melvin Wright book I've got the dimensions and it's a simple business I'm just uh, measuring uh, the depth of my language across the width of this uh, band of uh, hard uh, wood and uh, I know, uh, using my Dremel uh, drill, uh, the distance between the uh, uh, the blade, the cutting blade, and the edge of the saw is 11 millimeters. So uh, I've measured on my piece of wood the depth I want to cut. I've drawn a second line 11 millimeters further along, which I've measured. I'm going to put a bit of wood along there as a ruler. I'm going to clamp that wood either side other side as a guide and then with my Dremel I will be able to uh, cut along and have a nice parallel edge and I've started the job here I've already got some of my uh, language so they're pretty straight I think that will do the job and they can be sanded and uh, cut as uh, needs to be when I get round to gluing the pipes together so I've now got a few more to go and uh, I'll uh, be back with a bit more film when that's all done and I can start gluing the pipes together but for the moment it's uh, back to work <laughs> 